Hey everyone, got an interesting deal going on right now for a development acquisition that I wanted to share with everybody. Uh, so essentially this deal is for a property in Reading. It's an existing single family that hasn't been touched in 20 years. Uh, it's very dated, needs pretty much a full gut renovation to be habitable. Um, and my client is buying it and he's gonna renovate the entire property increase the square footage, redo the pool, redo everything. So we found this property last week and uh, we made an offer on it on Thursday. It took a couple days to negotiate the price and we ended up settling on Saturday, got the offer signed. The most difficult part of this transaction is that my buyer is leaving the country on vacation for a few weeks on Monday coming up. So we don't really have a lot of time to get in the property and make plans for the architect um, and everybody to design the property while he's gonna be on vacation. That way we can start building as soon as he gets back and we close. So it was really important for us to get into the property early, but since we made an offer that had no contingencies, we didn't have access to the property before we signed the purchase and sale agreement. The seller ended up sending their attorney information right around noon on Monday, so we're already behind where we wanted to be uh, since we wanted to get access to the property by Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Uh, it was really important to get this done as soon as possible. So even though we had a late start Monday, the attorney was able to draft up the agreement and come to an agreement Tuesday afternoon. We signed it at 2.50 p.m. on Tuesday, so 10 minutes to spare before the architect appointment, which is where we're at right now. Because we were able to get the purchase and sale agreement signed so quickly, we're able to meet at the property today and meet with the architect to start the design process. That way my client can enjoy his vacation and not have to worry about things while he's gone. So let's go take a look at the existing property and I'll talk about some of the ideas about what we're gonna be building here. This house was built? 1964. 64, yeah, I see pretty new. He's on top of it. Right before we close, we close on the 16th of next month. Oh, yes. I'm either going to be back on the 9th or like the 15th or something like that. The main level of the home is just going to be entertainment space, so kitchen, living, dining. It's also going to be a half bathroom and an office. And it's going to walk out to this awesome deck. This is enclosed right now, but we're going to open the whole thing up. That way it, it has a nice easement into the pool area. We're also going to open up this entire thing, raise the height of the ceiling so you have nice tall ceilings. And that front entryway is going to be a grand foyer, so it's going to be two stories with skylights and pendants hanging down, so you have a nice grand staircase going up to the second level and maybe the third level. Up on the second floor, we're going to have all four bedrooms, including the primary suite. Depending on what we're dealing with with the floor area ratio and how much we can fit up there comfortably, uh, we might do a third floor, so the property would be three levels, and we'll put the master suite up there. When it's all said and done, the structure will probably be between 3,800 and 5,000 square feet, depending on if we do the third level or if we do any foundation work. Uh, so we'll see what the architects come up with. We're doing measuring on Friday and we'll go from there. As for the style of the property, it's gonna be a mix of contemporary and traditional. We don't want it to stick out from the rest of the neighborhood too much, but we also wanna be individual and have some character and really make sure the home has style. This is just a sneak peek into the world of real estate development, so make sure you follow along for plenty of updates on this awesome project. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.